I did it. Greg Jackson, you owe me money for August. For my energy bill, anyway. Not for any dodgy deals or anything. Anyway, let's go into the details of how I managed it, and I'll let you know how much Octopus Energy owes me later on in the video. So regular viewers will hopefully have seen the video that I made covering my efforts in May and June this year to get a negative energy bill. They are normally my sunniest months and combined with careful battery exporting, I managed to successfully fail in my challenge for both months. Check out my challenge video to see the highs and lows of that journey and I'll link to that down in the description for you. At the end of that video, I said I was gonna give up for the year because unless something drastic happened to my energy costs, or my installation and it was unlikely that I would stand a chance until next year. But something did change. I decided to go and buy a second-hand Tesla. I made another video all about why I got that which of course will be linked to down in the description. Now the Tesla is compatible with the Intelligent Octopus Go tariff which means that compared to the normal Octopus Go tariff that I was on before I get an extra hour of off-peak energy every single day. So six hours instead of five. Not only that but I also get a cheaper off-peak rate seven pence per kilowatt hour instead of 8.5 pence. So given how close to breaking even I was in May and June, I thought this might just be enough to tip me over the edge into a negative bill. So I thought I'd start tracking it properly again. As it happens, August this year was on the whole particularly sunny. It's not my best August on record, but it's better than previous years with a total solar generation of 464 kilowatt hours. Last August I only generated 415 kilowatt hours, but you can see in the last few days of the month it all started to tail off a bit and we'll talk about that in a minute. At the start of the month there were also two free energy sessions. Now luckily Octopus relaxed their rules on these sessions by the time that I had joined the tariff and Intelligent Octopus Go customers can take part and get free energy for the whole home during the session and not just the free car charge like they did initially. In the first session I received a credit for £1.25 and in the second session I got £1.45 so that's a total of £2.70 in free electricity. But that wasn't all, they also ran a half price off peak session one night too so my 7 pence per kilowatt hour dropped to 3.5 pence so that added another credit of £1.58 to my account bringing my total free energy credits in August to £4.28. So that was a good starting point for the month and things were looking up and by the middle of August I was convinced this would be a dead cert because almost every day was negative and my running net bill was dropping lower and lower. But then I checked the weather forecast and well, I don't think I've ever seen quite so many lightning bolts on the forecast. The final four days were not looking great. So a bit of quick maths and careful planning was needed. I was at minus four pounds and one pence at the start of the final week. So I have to make sure that my average usage for each of those days doesn't go over 57p. One of the biggest energy expenses we have is charging our cars. So I checked the charge levels in both of them and we were at 74% in the Tesla and 59% in the MG4. Well, that should be plenty for my wife to get to work a few times, plus some running around. I wasn't sure what our weekend plans were, but I figured if my wife drives the Tesla for a few days, then we can save the MG4's range for anything we need to do at the weekend. The aim is to not charge either car until Sunday evening. By the start of the 28th the Tesla was down to 68% and the MG4 on 55% pretty good going but we still had four days to go. Luckily the weather hadn't been as bad as forecast and our net bill had dropped right down to minus seven pounds and six pence meaning we now had a massively improved chance of success provided that we stick within a budget of one pound 76 per remaining day of the month. Getting down to the final two days now and the Friday before the weekend was surprisingly very sunny despite the forecast. We ended up with a negative bill for that day of minus one pound and three pence, bringing our running net bill down to minus eight pounds exactly. We're now at the point where even if I had to charge one of the cars overnight, we should still make it. But we entered the weekend with 
46% in the Tesla and 49% in the MG4. That's hopefully plenty of range for us. And on the very last day, it was once again really sunny until the thunder arrived late afternoon. Octopus also ran another free electricity session, so I took part in that too. And in theory, I should have another credit of one pound and 10 pence. But anyway, I've been stringing this out for long enough. Let's have a look at my end of month total. Well, my total bill for August then is minus six pounds 62. That means Octopus Energy owe me six pounds 62. That doesn't include the estimated credit of one pound 10. So if we include that, then I estimate they'll actually owe me seven pounds and 72 pence. Mission finally accomplished. I've been working on calendar months here in my negative bill challenges, but my actual real bills from Octopus don't align neatly with calendar months. My billing months run from 21st to the 20th, and when Octopus billed me up to the 20th of August, my real life bill from them was negative by a few pennies, and that doesn't even include the free credits from the free energy sessions. Anyway, I'm almost certainly not going to do this again this year, but never say never, I guess. Yes. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel for free to see more from me. A massive thank you to my amazing channel members and patrons for supporting the channel. If you'd like to support the channel by becoming a member or a patron, then check out the links down in the description. In return, you'll get early access to my videos and some bonus content too. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.